episode 24 of Comics and Us. I'm TJ. And I'm Chris. And I'm Lumpy. And this is the review show that reviews comics, chronologically, kind of. We're going into Detective Comics number 46 here today. It was released in December 1940. This is the last one of the 40s. It is... How many pages? 13 pages. 13. And the, the issue is going to be called Professor Strange Fear Thus. Oh, and this one costs a dollar. Why? No, it's... Yeah, no, it's 10 cents. It's still 10 cents. (laughs) 10 cents and 15 cents in Canada. (laughs) So... So the cover is Batman and apparently making noises. Somebody's making money. Okay, go on. (laughs) Cha-ching. Batman's punching some guy as Robin does his patented crotch move. And it's just... That's it. These covers are getting cheaper and cheaper. Yeah, but they got... Robin doing the crotch thing, like you said, on the front. I didn't. That's the first time I've ever seen it on the cover. Yeah, it's like it's his trademark move. It really is his trademark at this point. It's it is his signature move. It's it, 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 he almost does it once a comic. He's got to be averaging once a comic. <laughs> All right. So it's still made by DC Publications. I don't see Bob Kane on the cover of mine, but no, on the splash page, but not on the cover. Not on the cover, on the splash page this time. And Batman's still up in the corner circle with his large ears, so... Yeah, why don't they get rid of that large ear Batman? Why don't they... They need to do something about that. I, I kind of like it. I like it better than the other one. I think they just <laughs> need to get rid of that little circle altogether, honestly, at this point. Truthfully, yeah. They don't have that other circle on this one that said, like, DC Comics Production. It's on the top of mine. It's DC Publications. Oh, yeah, see, okay. I don't have that either. I don't it's have that. It's not either. on mine. Nope. Nah, I have it. It's on. It's in the right hand corner, across from the circle of the Batman. Yeah. Well, no, they they not didn't here. put that on this one. All right, so we're opening it up with a a splash page that's actually canon as Batman swings in on a bunch of thugs robbing some warehouse or something. Fletcher Silver Company. Yeah. Uh, he swings in. He makes a few jokes and he beats them up. Man, jokey Batman. I, I'm I'm not a fan of jokey Batman. Yeah, I don't. It's a it's a tough call for me. Sometimes I kind of think it's funny, and then sometimes I'm kind of annoyed by it. I don't, I don't like. Sometimes I do kind of chuckle over it, and then other times I'm like, "That's not bad, dude." So, Come on, he's ki- he's kicking the bad guy in the face, and he says, "Heal me, heal." That's not good. Yeah, That's not good. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some of them aren't, you know. We'll <laughs> I do like that. That's good. I do like that they're numbering the panels again so I don't get lost. But they don't they're not consistent throughout. I know. They do it sometimes and sometimes they don't. And the uh, the backgrounds are disappearing again. Yeah, they're yeah. Just like rush 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 again, huh? Yeah, they're they're detailed panels for two panels and then like five of just pure red. Yeah. And then Batman after Batman beats them up, he tackles them again for some reason and again continues to beat them up. He even calls the one guy cute while he's beating them up too. <laughs> He does That's say like, something like that. I cute little exactly. cut-up, he calls him. Yeah, there cute little cut-up. So, have I not noticed it before, and I just noticed it in these three comics, but is the narrator going on a little more than normal? Like it's this, plainly- one, this one is very wordy, too, but yes, we do have more narration, I believe, too. Because it, they- Especially in these three. Okay, so it, it's not me, I've just... No, no, it, in these three that we just read, they are all... Exactly like that. There's yeah. a lot, a lot of narrator. In I gotta be honest. This, this first one I didn't think was bad, but my god, it took me forever because it's like it's like reading a novel. Yeah, so, and that's how I feel about the last one for this one. Really? It. I just felt like it had a lot of words. I I liked it actually. I liked all three of these, but yeah, yeah, yeah. These are better. I than the last couple didn't. I just there's a lot of words. They and and some of them were actually totally worthless. Like some of the narration is like. Why would you even write that there? I don't, I don't know what you're saying, but... <laughs> to be fair, the last one you just read an hour ago, so you're it's probably, true. probably just Russian. Yeah, yeah. It's true. And I... But I liked it. But it... Yeah. I only read it um, not long ago, so... So, Batman's about to finish them off when he grabs the last guy, and it's... He's about... He realizes it's only a kid. Didn't we do this already? Uh, I, this yes. is not the first time he's grabbed a, per- a person and said, oh, crap, it's a kid. No, it's not uh, the first time. Last week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, the ki- And the kid says, don't hit me. And Batman says, all right, but I'm sending you to jail. He says, don't send me to jail. I'll tell you 
about what's going on. He's like, all right, what's going on? And then the kid explains that a bunch of mobsters or something are gathering under some leader called the Professor for some big crime spree coming up. And then Batman says, okay, you go to that meeting. I'm going to leave these unconscious guys here here and let them go so they can go to the meeting too for some reason. Right. Well, you skip the part where he says, all of us got to vial of these pills. They're supposed to make us immune to the professor's stuff. They don't even say what like the stuff is or like if it's... Because they don't know yet. Okay. So they They're... just all have pills. So Batman takes them. He's like, give me them pills. Yeah. He says, give me those pills. And so, and he says, kid, all right, you're going to this meeting and meet me back here tomorrow at midnight. And you're going to tell me. And he lets him go. And the kid goes. And then Batman disappears. So they all go. So all the thugs go to this meeting. And we find out that the big leader behind everything is Professor Hugo Strange. Yeah. And he looks like he's got a butt for a head this time for some reason. I, I was literally <laughs> going to say the exact same thing. His head. It, and it's really pronounced. Like they yeah. really made a butt crack. The like they put a this time. Cr- yeah, they put a crack, and they don't. Always, yeah. yeah, they do kind of always draw him like. Was he drawn like that in the last one? I can't remember, but in this one, for some reason, it really looks like a butt on the back yeah. of his head. I, I, yeah. don't, I, I don't actually know. didn't even get that. I thought it would look more like a brain to me, but whatever. It looks like a rear end. It looks like a butt. <laughs> it it does. It's two lumps like a butt. So Hugo Change is saying, tells him, about, I don't know if he explains what happens here, but he says that he's got this powder that he's that you shoot with a gun or spray with a gun, and it makes everyone afraid. They don't really explain it there, but that's the gist of it. He and actually sa- he actually says, "I will give you your instructions now," and that's why he never says the instructions. Right, <laughs> but the instructions are tomorrow at noon. But oh no, the guy's supposed to go meet Batman tomorrow at midnight. So right. Batman really playing this poorly here. He has no way to contact him. He's the plan's going down earlier. He didn't consider maybe it was gonna happen with tomorrow or Listen, he could have said, I'll wait here. Come back after the meeting. That's or he could have just broke up the meeting instead. No, he wants to find out what's going on. I mean, but now he's gonna let it happen. Right, right. Well he does that a lot. He doesn't like to get in the middle of it until he gets it gets like bad for some reason. Batman likes right. to let stuff go a little bit. I no, think he kind of likes the crime a little bit. Before we go do this. Yeah. Well, because he can't, like, if he just goes to the meeting, he can, like, lock him up for planning stuff. But when he catches them doing stuff, he gets to kick their asses. I think he likes kicking their asses. Or he could almost get Robin killed, too. He's trying to get Robin killed. Right. Too. Yeah, Robin's not in enough danger unless something's actually happening. Right. Unless so. something's going on. So tomorrow at noon, all the banks are getting robbed and warehouses and people safes are getting robbed. It's just a crime spree all around. And they're shooting cops with the spray, and they're all getting scared. Everyone who's spray- shot with the spray is scared and given up real easily because they're afraid of... Like, this is early... This is scarecrow gas, essentially. Yeah. Only... only it, doesn't, it just makes you afraid instead of shows you your nightmares. It doesn't make you afraid of your nightmares. It makes you afraid of everything, apparently. Right. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know if it's like, it's kind of strange. It only makes you afraid of Hugo Strange. No, it makes you afraid of the criminals and everything else around you. Yeah, the cops are like, don't hit me, don't hit me. Yeah, but it's weird because the way Hugo Strange does it, he's saying that he's going to take over the government pretty much. Oh yeah, and everybody's going to follow him. He doesn't. Ex- he doesn't explain that yet. But it's he's gonna use the spray, and when he goes to make his demands, they'll be too afraid to stop him. Oh, uh, gotcha. And Brr. then they there's this like logo for fear for some reason. I know that's yeah, not it's, suppo- it's supposed to be, crazy. but it looks like <laughs> it looks like they're trying to hypnotize people. It looks like. Yeah, but uh, what we learn here is that Batman does not work during the day because those no one got stopped. None of those crimes. They all got oh, away. Right. No, he, he, I don't even know if he heard about it. Like, I don't even know if he heard it on the police scanner because he knows nothing about it. Well, we find out in the next issue that he's just wandering around during the day as Bruce Wayne. So I, I was going to say, I don't <laughs> want to spoil anything, but he's just being a playboy by day. I mean, he's yes. just what he does. He's hanging out. I don't know yeah. what he sleeps, but. He's probably in Commissioner Gordon's place right now. Nope. He would have got told about the crimes. That's true. He was probably at one of his rich friend's house. 
But so the criminals bring back all the gold and stuff to Hugo Strange, and Hugo Strange is like, yes, now I can conquer the government and stuff like you said earlier, Lump. Yeah. Okay, Batman did know. He says, quick, tell me who's responsible for what happened this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, he finds out that night. <laughs> yeah, when he when, when he started being a playboy, I guess. Yeah, that's he's not allowed to put the Batman costume in until after sunset. Okay. That makes yeah, sense. He's the Dark Knight. That's right. Yeah, that, those are the rules. Yeah. He, so, he is the Dark Knight. They have actually oh, I, called him that. I'm sorry, this is not where Hugo Strange says that. Hugo Strange says, oh, that kid... Looks suspicious, and then the oh, boss yeah. of the boss of the kid says, "Okay, I'll have him followed." So Batman goes to meet up with the kid, and then we get Bat Knockout number. What, where, where is it? Twelve. One hundred and forty-eight. <laughs> Bat Knockout number twelve. As a guy comes up behind him and hits him in the back of the head with a gun. Uh, for being the world's greatest detective, he don't look around first before he meets with people. Like he's up on the roofs and shit. Why don't he look around for, for a little bit before he meets up with people? Sometimes I, I think he doesn't really worry about it just because he's so tough. But man, does he get his ass kicked here? To be oh, yeah. fair, to be fair, he is getting knocked out by Dick Tracy. True, he it is. does look like Dick Tracy. Right. I'm pretty sure he did a drive by in the last couple uh, comics too. Yeah, he's been ar- he's been getting around Dick Tracy in these <laughs> detective comics because I think Dick Tracy was out during this time. I'm, not, I'm probably sure, I'm sure he was. I'm not sure Dick Tracy is DC though. Oh, it's not. Not no, no, but I but I think Dick Tracy is out at this time. I feel like Dick Tracy's been around before a lot of them. Yeah, I think he's the reason why we get all these uh, weird villains and stuff. Yeah. So the the thugs bring Batman to Hugo Strange, and Batman's like, "Oh, I should have known it was you, Hugo Strange. Why? You f- <laughs> how many professors? <laughs> well, because he thought he was dead, and every time he thinks somebody's dead, they come back. <laughs> uh, we'll get to that, but." So this is where Hugo Strange explains his master plan before he has his thugs beat the crap out of Batman. Oh, uh, beat the crap out. Didn't we think Doctor Strange was dead? Or was well, he Well, Doc, Doc, yeah. Sh- Doctor he Strange died last time. Doctor Strange is uh Marvel, but Hugo Strange <laughs> Well, he's still a doctor <laughs> and he is strange, so They call him Professor Strange. <laughs> But, Doctor, uh, professor, I whatever. Think, well, he got no. He broke out of jail, and the last we seen him was with the Monster Men, where Batman oh, murdered, giant. where Batman murdered all those giants. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. Okay. I don't remember how he defeated them. He probably threw him out a window or something. Yeah, but all these thugs beat up Batman and knock him out for the. He's this is knockout number thirteen. But I want want to know, one of the thugs does know, this is for what you did to me on the pier. So, this guy must have been in one of those previous comics on the pier. Oh, yeah, he does say that. Because it says Batman, all Batman's, uh, he's coming, all the thugs he beaten up or taking revenge on them right now. So, these they, are like... They kick the crap out. Somebody hits him with a hammer. There's a, like, a fate, foot to the chin. Like, they just beat the crap out of him. Yeah, and they knock him I- out. I guess I I assumed that was just from earlier in the fights, but it doesn't really say that they were on a pier, so you uh-uh. might be right. That might be from another comic. Yeah, they were never on a pier. Yeah, because they're just in that warehouse, I guess, in the beginning. I mean, I guess that warehouse could have been on a pier, but I just took it that these guys were, like, from other comics. Well, you know, not really from other comics, but, like, random thugs that got beat up at Batman at some point. Well, the bald yeah, guy with sure. the yellow suit on, the bald guy with the yellow suit on looks familiar. That's because they use that same drawing all over. That same mug, yeah, they do. Well, and he is. We'll, we'll get to the, um, we'll get to that in one of the later comics too. I would have bring up, but good. I, I was looking to see there is a bald head guy in a yellow suit. I don't. They're just all different drawings. It's not really anything noticeable. So, so instead of killing Batman and unmasking him after he got knocked out for a second time, or just killing him, or you know anything. They throw him in another room and continue their evil monologue. Yeah, and they don't even shut the door all the way. No, and they leave the door unlocked. <laughs> These are crappy criminals. Like, you think Professor Strange here would be smarter than that? Yeah, he's he thinks he's one, I guess, but whatever. Batman, Batman stays unconscious for a little while, I guess. It doesn't really say how long. It's just for a while so he can recoup. 
And then he gets up and says, up, I'm not healed yet. I must rest for a little while longer. And I guess we wait a little while longer. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. he just listens in, I guess, before he... Yeah, and and then he waits for a few of them to leave. So it's like only three left. And then he comes out and pretends to be still hurt. But the rejuvenation power of Batman is really strong because now he's fine as he beats the crap out of the last three. It mentions years of rigorous athletic training have enabled Batman not only to resist, but to recover from the brutal beating. (laughs) And so after he escapes and beats up these thugs, he calls Robin. Of course he does. With his crotch phone. And I don't, because all the other thugs went out to continue their scrying spree. Well, not crying spree. They're going to spray specific targets at specific places so that Hugo Strange can take over the country or the city or whatever. But somehow, he calls Robin and says, we gotta stop them. He's been out for at least hours, is what they're implying there. These guys did not do anything. They've just been waiting for Batman to show up to these places, because they didn't spray a goddamn thing. No, well, they get there, and they say, wait. Right? Because while Batman yeah. was getting beat up, they just got their instruction. Yeah, but he was unconscious for God knows how long. Yeah, but they, they weren't handed their instructions until he woke up. The first time, and then it says... They leave, and he's waiting a little longer until... <laughs> I guess you're right, yeah. It's after he is taking his other nap from recovery. Yeah, the it's after the second nap, so it has to be an hour. And even if it's not, and it's only a few minutes, it's still going to take Batman just as long to get there as it took them to get there. I don't know. Did you see how fast he's running? Did you see the pose he's in when he's running? He's running Yeah, really he's, fast. he's not running. He's flying in there. Yeah, he looks like he's flying. Um, speeding forward. Don't you, like, say you're going to release some kind of gas into the subway. Don't you go into the subway and release the gas? Or do you go there and play the hell around for 15 minutes? Apparently, that's my point. They do yeah, nothing. it doesn't make sense. It They're waiting sense. for Batman to come there and beat them up. It's yeah. also weird. It almost seems like this gas, they actually have to spray directly at someone and not just release it into the air. Well, it, that, but they're going to dump it into the reservoir later. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I don't, yeah. Yeah, there's which, some holes in this story. Which also <laughs> doesn't make sense, because if it's a gas, then what are you just evaporating? <laughs> so when I first read it, I thought the same thing. I'm like, wait a minute, you're going to release the gas into the water, so then what? It just goes up did, in the air? Did they call it gas before? Because now they're calling it dust. Fear uh, dust. Yeah, I was going to say, they are saying dust, so... Alright, maybe it is dust, but I don't know how you spray dust from a gun that stays in the air like it is. That's why I'm calling a gas. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I there's holes in this one. I told you. It's how, how did it's Batman okay. know to go to Forty Second Street Station anyway? Did he hear them say Forty Second Street Station? I guess. I guess he's okay. listening on his nap for like who knows how long. So because <laughs> he knows where all of them are. Because yeah. he sent he sends Robin to the reservoir, and for some reason Robin needs to cl- climb a telegraph pole. Because that's what it's called in this, a telegraph pole. Yeah, and then walk the wires. Yeah, I thought that was strange. Like, what, and he get electrocuted or something? But then I re- realized they said telegraph wires, so I don't know if telegraph wires work the same as our current electrical power grid. I, isn't that the one with the tick, 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 tick? Yeah. Like do, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't think there's a lot of power in them. I was so, going to say, in your regular phone line, there's no real power, nothing that would shock you or anything. Yeah, but on the telephone pole lines, if you get caught up, you know, if something goes wrong and you're up there, you're getting electrocuted and dying. Yeah, but I'm guessing they don't have the same power as me. Even without yeah. electricity, I mean, he could fall. Batman oh. wants to kill him, that's why. Well, you know, to be fair, he decided to do this on his own. He doesn't need to take these wires. <laughs> he really doesn't. Like, where did it get him anywhere any faster? Or mm, I, I no. He it gave him the drop from coming up from above, dropping down. I see that, but that only that's only to hit one guy in the chin, I guess. Yeah, but to be fair, he's also was raising a circus. So. I was going to say he's a right. professional circus performer. So that doesn't it does the idea of him going up there and walking across the tightrope doesn't surprise me as much as a maybe not do it on dangerous electrical wire. And his... <laughs> I know he so sings that. "Roll Out the Barrel." He sings "Roll Out the Barrel" right now too. He does sing that. <laughs> Well, he shows up at the reservoir and beats up the thugs and stops them from dropping it in there. And then all of a sudden, he's at movie theater. Yeah. I see the marquee. Yeah. So I looked up that movie that's on the marquee, Melody of 1941. Okay. I don't think that it exists. 
Tyrone Taylor. Taylor and Myrna Rogers. Maybe it's a it's not a movie theater. Maybe it's a play. Maybe it could be a play. Because I looked up Melody of 1940. Now, there is a movie called Melody of 1940, but really, yeah, but it it has none of those actors in it. I don't even know if they're real actors. Well, so I I guess it's just made up for this. Yeah, probably. So Robin shows up because the thugs are going to use the dust from on top of the movie theater. I don't. Does movie theaters back then get that much of a crowd that they, it's worth doing on the outside? Like, yeah. you must think they're not even inside the theater. It doesn't seem like a very strategic place is all I'm saying. No. But Robin stops him, of course. Of course. Knocks one guy off the marquee. And then, yeah, he just beats him up. And then it's off screen. It tells us Batman interrogated a guy and found out where Hugo Strange plane was. It tells oh, us yeah. That- it doesn't even have a, a, a paddle for that. It's just the, the narrator talking about it. Yeah, it just tells us there. And apparently the plane's not working right, according to Professor Hugo Strange. Yeah. But Batman shows up and they start fighting, and then Hugo Strange has a hammer out of nowhere. <laughs> and all of a well, sudden, they're maybe, all of a sudden, go ahead. Maybe he was trying to fix a plane. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, they're on a cliff, cliff edge over a full moon. I think it was daytime out when they first got there. I'm not even positive now. But, and then they fight for a little bit, and then. Hugo Strange gets knocked off this cliff and falls to his death, is what they're yes. implying here. Yes, like, I don't know how he's going to survive that. But, I know he for will. a fact that he does. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Me too. I was going to say, he will. It's fine. But yes, he's dead now. But I also know he disappears for like 20 years. Really? You of think this cor- is it? Of course, to- no, because this Hugo Strange does come back, apparently. Okay. But he's gone from comics for a long time. I think they wanted to kill him off here, and then a new writer came in and says, I'm not killing him off, and bring them back. Yeah, just somebody else wanted to use that character when they yeah. started writing. On, on your panel, when he's when Batman's looking down on the cliff, do you see blood? Um, No. No, is it? Because on mine, it shows like the ravine and the, the body. The yellow water at the bottom? Yeah. No mine blood. has, a, it's splattered in blood. There's a really? splash of blood. Yeah, it's red. Oh, uh, see why? Why did they take that out? I yeah, it's it looks it just looks like a splash of blood. So that's why I'm like, oh, there's no way he's alive. Uh-uh, yeah, and uh-uh. there's no, there is none of that in our cop or in my copy anyway. No, no, definitely no. I got no. a yellow, yellow like stream at the bottom of a ravine, and that's it. There's no red. I ha- the it's not yellow on mine. It's but it's cause mine's a little faded, but. There, uh, it's clear as day. There's like a black spot right in the middle, and there's streams of red. Honestly, on the panel I'm looking at, he's falling because it says "yah" all the way down. Yeah, that's what ours is. He's falling into this ravine, like a very deep, deep. It's like big mountains. Now, do and you have a yah, TJ? Water. I didn't notice the yah. I thought it was like waves. Now this there's is squiggly yaw. lines, and it says yah. Huh? Maybe it's not blood then. Yeah, he's maybe falling on ours. He, maybe, he, he didn't hit the bottom on ours. He's falling. Maybe there's just a red mark over the Hugo Strange. Because I don't see Hugo Strange. I see a, a splash of red. <laughs> maybe somebody was killed reading your comic. May- <laughs> yeah, that's better there's than what I was going to say. splash of real blood on there. <laughs> yeah, you got real blood on yours. Yeah, I, that's weird. Huh. I think we found a murder. I think we need to become detectives now and figure out who did it. Well, Batman did it. Yeah, Batman killed a lot of people already. We'll just blame him. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But they think Hugo Strange is dead, and then they go home and say, job di- well done. Yeah, yeah well, first he's going to hand over those pills so that they can make an antidote for all the people right. who are so of, scared. Of course, they already took the pills, so they went and be scared. Robin got sprayed with the dust at one point, and he said, he, he does, he's not, the dust doesn't even work on him. I'm not positive when Batman saw Robin and gave him the pills, either. He right. didn't. Yeah. He did, because Batman says... Take oh, I, the pill that I gave you yeah, last night. He, yeah, did. he does say that. He did when but, he when he met with the kid for the first time. There was a whole day in between. Yes, you're right. Okay, you're right. Well, Batman loves our little get-togethers. Just so you know, it says it right in that last panel. So, well, yeah, the last panel is you know next week on Batman. Thanks for being with the, me again this month. Robin and I look forward to these little get-togethers with the, all of you readers <laughs> every month of Detective Comics. Let's make it a stand-in date. <laughs> it's not a bad drawing of Batman. I like the, I like the drawing of Batman. I noticed they put the moon in a couple times. I think just to break up the the no background. 
Well, that's, yeah. that's true. But the yeah. backgrounds come back after a while. Yeah. So Some pages yeah. have a lot of background, and then some have, like, one background. I wonder if there's different artists working on these at a certain time. Well, only Bob Kane's getting credit for it. Yeah, that's <laughs> the, the, we don't know who write the, uh, writes these. That's why I haven't been giving credit to whoever did, because they don't tell us. Yeah, also, so. Myrna Rogers and Tyrone Taylor are completely made up. It's official. They're okay. Not real people. Not a real show. Just before I forget to tell you that. Okay. So All right, who was, in, who was in this one, Uncle Chris? Appearances. You want to know who they got listed for appearances? Batman, Robin, Hugo Strange. Location, Gotham City. That's it. That's all we got listed here. It doesn't, like, I was looking at one of those sites, too, because I was curious about if this is the last of Hugo Strange, if I was counting it as F count. Yeah. And on the list that I saw, it listed Hugo Strange, and then in parentheses, it says apparent death. Yeah, it, well, I saw that one, too. I, that's not the one I'm on, but I did see it said apparent death. Well, on this one, the synopsis says Strange apparently falls to his death at the very end, too. So, on the one I was reading, where I found the info, it lists Murder Rogers, one credit, is this comic, and Tyrone Taylor, both appearing in the um, in the play, Melody of 1941. Oh, maybe oh, well. it was a play. As a credit to this, that's where they, that's how I found out that they were not real. It's, it's the only appearance it's not real. I, well, I read about it. Well, at least we know it was a play and not a movie. It was a play. <laughs> Were movies even out? Like, yeah, I guess there were movies. Yeah, they would, they would have been out. Yeah, I think Wizard of Oz was around this time. Oh, really? also, Dick Tracy came out in 1931. Yeah, I knew Dick Tracy was around for a while. Yeah, I think Wizard of Oz came out in the 30s, ain't it? Maybe I'm wrong. I You're supposed to stall while answer. I look it up. Oh, I was doing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> August 25th, 1939. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. All right. I, well, good. I would say that's it. I got nothing else. Yeah, I guess that's it for this one. I mean, it was okay. Yeah, yeah, no, it was good. It was good. in comparison to the the ones last episode. I I was not a fan of these. Are well, about it's, a- it seems like when they have one of their returning villains or one of the villains that you know is going to be focused on, those ones tend to be better than yeah. the ones that are just focused on mobsters or something. Right, I'm saying the ones from the last episode weren't good, but the cat one one was good. So you're right. That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess that's it. Go ahead with your stupid joke. Yo, don't call my joke stupid. <laughs> Alright, you ready? This one's good. My friend said I'm starting to annoy, to annoy her because I relate everything to Batman. She's such a joker. <laughs> that was more of an anecdote than it was a joke. <laughs> Listen, these are the jokes. I'm, I'm coming to the bottom here. I'm scraping bottom here. Alright, anything else anyone wants to say? I was still waiting for the joke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, bye. Not yeah, say uh, bye. That's what I said. <laughs> bye. Bye. TJ here from Comics and Us, just here to plug the social media. Check us out on Twitter. Our handle is at every T and Us because someone took everything and us, but the name of the Twitter page is Everything and Us Podcast, and then the handle is at every T and Us. You can also check us out on Instagram, which is also Everything and Us. These all encapsulate all the podcasts that I do, but these are going to find all your updates for Comics and Us anime and us so forth and so forth you can also contact us right now at everything in us podcast at gmail.com still working on the website and until then that's where you can get a hold of us that's all thanks for listening talk to you later bye